Now, when you grind steel, it's a chip formation process. We know that. But if you grind a hard, brittle material, like this ceramic cup, this guy is kind of hard and kind of brittle, not too ductile. Let's pretend this is a diamond wheel. The diamond wheel comes and he grinds the hard ceramic. Now, the guy's so hard that he's not going to form a chip. He's not ductile enough. He's not bendable enough, not malleable enough. So what happens is when we grind, with the diamond wheel on our ceramic, we don't form a chip. Basically what we do is we just sort of beat the hell out of the ceramic. So the grit comes and he forms a crack. The radial cracks, lateral cracks, and we just keep forming all these little cracks and then the next grit comes and kind of busts them out. And our grinding swarf looks something like this. We get lots and lots. This is quite rough swarf. It's usually finer than this, but we get chunks of material. It's not in chip formation. It's just a lot of little pieces because we've just sort of beat the hell out of the ceramic material, cracked them up, and he's all cracked up and cracked around, and then the grits kind of come and clear out all the cracked material. So here is a piece of glass that I ground. And so here we can see the smooth glass that he started out as. And there were certain regions that we actually were grinding. You can see those little pot marks, potholes, cracked up regions. And that was where we were actually grinding the ceramic material. And he's all cracked up, and we just kind of bust them out. So grinding of ceramics is kind of a whole different animal than grinding of steels, ink and L's, even tungsten carbide, because instead of forming a chip, we just sort of crack up the workpiece.